Hello and welcome to another one of my uh, vlogs. You will notice this isn't my usual venue. This is because I've had difficulties with uh, my living arrangement and this is just a temporary uh, room for one or two weeks. Anyway, today I will be doing my top 10 video games. Uh, just like to reiterate, this isn't the best top 10 in the world, this is just my personal preference. At number one we have Skyrim, a very new game. Part of the Elder Scrolls series of games, a very good game so far. Uh, I haven't played a lot of uh, Elder Scrolls games, I've only played Oblivion slightly before. Because it was a mate's game I didn't play it very much, so I don't really know what it's about. But so far Elder Scrolls seems to be a very, very good game. I highly, I highly recommend it. Once I do complete it, I uh, will post a review of the game online. At number two, we have Assassin's Creed Revelations. The newest game in the Assassin's Creed series of games It's brilliant. Brilliant game. Not only do you get to play as Ezio Auditore again, you also get to play as Altair again, and finally you get to play a little bit of Desmond. I've been, uh, for a long time I wanted to play as Desmond, um, more. You only play as him slightly in Assassin's Creed 2, but that's him for a brief, very, very brief period of time. Brotherhood doesn't count because he wasn't fighting anyone. Uh, but in Assassin's Creed Revelations you get a little bit more into the Desmond sort of character. You find out his story a lot more, which I really, really like. At number three, we have Do X. It's a relatively new game. It's a very good game for, for me, for several reasons. I like the shoot em up aspect. It's a very good shoot em up. It's also because of the cloak and dagger that's involved with it. Um, a lot of sneaking around, a lot of you know, going through air vents and that sort of classical cliche sort of stuff. But no, um, I can't give away too much more without giving away the plot, so I don't. I'll post a review of the game when I'm done, uh, when I finish playing it, but don't watch it unless you haven't actually played it, because it'll just ruin it. Anyway, moving on. At number four, we have Rock Band. Now, I know a lot of you have face palm because a lot of my uni friends face palm when I talk about this game as well. It's not a one-player. It's never, ever been a one-player game, I don't think. It shouldn't have been a one-player game. You can play as one-player, but that's boring. If you're going to play guitar or drums by yourself, go out and buy a real guitar or a real drum kit and play that. If, if you're playing as a group, it's a, it's a more bonding moment, because if, if someone's really good at it, you're like, wow, you're really good at it, that's quite cool. But if someone's really crap at it, it's hilarious, because, my God, you're rubbish at this. And it, it's it, it's a nice... It, it just brings back memories for me, uh, because when I was younger, me and mates used to play rock band and guitar hero, and it used to be hilarious. Good memories for me, personally. Okay, moving on. At number five, we have Final Fantasy IX. Brilliant, brilliant game. Um, actually, no, screw that. Not Final Fantasy IX, just Final Fantasy in general. It's a brilliant strategy game. If you want to play a strategy, choose Final Fantasy as your game of choice. It's an excellent strategy. It'll keep you... I mean, this one has four di four discs. Well, it should have four discs, but number two is missing. No, it's, it's a long game. It'll keep you entertained. It'll keep you interested. It will just blow you away, especially this one. This is my personal favourite. At number six, we have Halo. Any of the Halos, I don't care which one you choose. It's just a brilliant shoot -em up game. It's It really is. It's just you, you don't have to think about it. You just have to worry about how many bullets you have left in your gun. That's all you need to worry about. You just jump into a crowd of enemies, shoot the crap out of them, and move on. It's just my. It is kind of mindless violence with a bit of. It's a great storyline as well, actually. If you play them in order, it's a brilliant, brilliant storyline. But no, just brilliant shoot 'em up. <laughs> Highly recommended. At number seven, we have another mindless shoot 'em up. It's Goldeneye. Now, some people might say it's not mindless shoot 'em up. Well, it really is, because there's no challenge in strategy wise. It's just a brilliant shoot 'em up, and again, a brilliant multiplayer game. Um, never part of the opportunity to play Goldeneye. I remember my first year of university, studying for an exam two days ahead. My mate knocked on my window because I was on the bottom floor. Knocked on my window and said, hey, I just got back for the weekend. I've got my N64 with me and my TV and Goldeneye. Do you want to come and play? I was like, hell yes, because Goldeneye is a brilliant game. At number eight, we have another... I'm going to go with Mindless Violence because it's Prototype. Now, this is a brilliant game. I saw the trailer, thought it was brilliant, went out and bought it for a fire at Sainsbury's after two months of it being out. It it has got strategy, it has got storyline in the beginning, but after a while it just turned into mindless violence and that's hilarious if you know if you're in the mood for it. It should just go around killing the bad guys, because there are an endless number of them. It's just fun. 
It's also good stress relief for me, I think. To go around and kill loads of people, I feel much better about myself. Number... What number is that? At number nine, we have Zelda. Specifically, Zelda Ocarina of Time. Brilliant game. It's a, one of those games I can just play and play and play and never ever get bored. The person who invented Zelda is a very intelligent man. It has violence but not overly violent game. It has a lot of strategy. If you're in a very good mood for a strategy game, it's a good one to play. And the storyline is gripping. It's naturally gripping. Not so much for me now because I've played it so many times. But when you first play it, it's a brilliant storyline. Grips you, keeps you playing. And the games that came after that, like Majora's Mask, not as good as Ocarina of Time, but still a good game. Twilight Princess was an excellent game. Uh, but get it on the Wii, though, because it's much more fun. Uh, so yeah, Zelda, Ocarina of Time, good game. Finally, we come to number 10. I'm going to have to go with Batman. Batman, Arkham Asylum, or Arkham City. Doesn't matter which one, really. Although gameplay in Arkham City is better, the storyline in Arkham Asylum is better. Swings and roundabouts. So either one is great. I mean, a uh, lot of action, a lot of fighting, but also a hell of a lot of strategy, as so is the nature of Batman. It's a good, it's a good game to play. If you like, well, it doesn't matter what you like, you will like Batman. It's simply brilliant. That's all I can really say. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave any feedback you like. But anyway, uh, see you sometime, probably next week. See you later. Subscribe.